to Titan Stadium. Tonight we will recognize and honor our graduating class of 2021 Shell Area Girls Soccer Players. We would like to first acknowledge the North Allegheny Senior Girls Soccer Players. First up, number one, Juliana Werner. Number six, Cecily Smith. Number eight, Tulasi Sayamala. Number 12, Ellie Wrigley. Number 22, Brianne Torsha. Let's have a round of applause for the North Allegheny Girls Senior Soccer Players. Our first show area senior soccer player is number 16, Alyssa Deleonibus. Alyssa is escorted by her parents, Shirley and Tony Deleonibus. Her athletic accomplishments are three-year varsity starter, Riverhounds ECNL player, a, cons a consistent starter on my Riverhounds team, and semifinals for the State Cup in 2017. Her academic accomplishments are highest honor roll throughout high school and a current GPA of 3.75, taking primarily all honors in AP classes throughout high school and a member of the English Honor Society. Her most memorable soccer moment was passing the beat test in the 10 120s this year with the help of Taylor, Ashley, and Audrey, who kept pushing me to pass them. The most influential person in her, in her life is her parents. She could not pick one over the other as they both support her decisions in life and support me and her in any way they can. They have both shaped her into the person she is today and cannot thank them enough. She would like to thank her parents, siblings, Riverhounds coaches, best friends, and everyone else on this team who pushed me to be my best self. She would like to bequeath to the underclassmen, the back of the bus, to Taylor Pierce, the cheer to Ryan Dor Dorlane, and the team mom to Anna Weaver. Her plans after graduation are I plan to attend Division II college to play soccer and continue my academics to study nursing and eventually become a nurse practitioner. Number 16, Alyssa Deleonibus. Our next senior is midfielder number seven, Audrey Fisher. Audrey is escorted by Bitsy and Ron Fisher. Her athletic accomplishments are being a multi-sport athlete throughout high school and keeping up with her schoolwork. Her academic accomplishments are being on honor roll and a member in the Spanish Honor Society. Her most memorable soccer moment is there's way too many memories to choose from, but my memories I will always remember are the bus rides, car rides, and breakfast runs at 7 a.m., practicing with people I can call my best friends. The most influential people in her life are her parents. They have taught her to be the person she is today, give her advice and help with them so many things. She would like to thank her parents, coaches, and teammates for always being there for her when she needed help and pushing her to be the person she is today. She would like to bequeath to the underclassmen the backseat to Ryan Dorlane. Her plans after graduation are to attend a university and study in the medical field. Number seven, Audrey Fisher. Our is number 22, Emily Mori. Emily is escorted by her parents, Laura Mori, and grandfather, Larry Deer. Her athletic accomplishments are captain, junior, and senior year, and varsity letterman. Her academic accomplishments are high honor roll three years in a row. Her most memorable soccer moment is was when she committed to Penn State Baron. The most influential person in her life is her mom. Her plans after graduation are to attend Penn State Baron as a history major. 
She would like to thank Coach Craig Wilkins and Ashley Kuba for being supportive coaches and always pushing us to be better players. My mom and brother for supporting me and pushing me to be better. She would like to be quick at underclassman number 22, Maddie Primus. Number 22, Emily Mori. Our next senior is number 21, I think your hair is in the way, Selena Slavic. Escorted by her mom and stepdad, Jennifer and Tim Caprino, and her dad and stepmom, Brian and Megan Slavic. Her athletic accomplishments are playing soccer all four years of high school and lettering. Her academic accomplishments are staying on honor roll while working and playing soccer throughout the year. The most, inf the most memorable soccer moment is there's way too many good memories to choose from. All I know is this team gave me a lifelong friends and it will be a bond I will never forget. Having morning practices and going to breakfast as a team is something I will miss so much. The most influential person in her life is her mom and grandma have been the most influential in her life. It's too hard to choose between them. When I needed advice or encouragement, they were, are the only ones I go to. They've taught me everything I need to know, and I appreciate everything they have done for me. She would like to thank her grandparents, Teresa and John, and all of my parents of getting me to where I needed to be in whatever time it is for practices, games, and work. She would like to bequeath the underclassmen the SAG's Twitter account to Taylor. Her plans after graduation are to plan, she plans to attend a university and graduate with a teaching degree. Midfielder, Selena Slavic. Our next senior is number 24 goalie, Kalea Umali. Her academic or athletic accomplishments are quarterfinals at the state tennis championships, zero goals given up freshman year of soccer, varsity cheer, varsity tennis, MD elite rank of fourth in Maryland, 93rd nationally. Her academic accomplishments are superintendent award for two years, high honors received for three years, and received top rating at state adjunction for three years. Her most memorable soccer moment is we played at a tournament being held in Disney and it was one of the rare times I got to play on the field instead of in goal. Right after I got into the game, I was running to beat the opposing team to the ball to kick it out so we could reset. Just as I was, I was about to hit it, she sweeps me and sends me flying on my stomach in front of three college coaches. I skipped across the grass a couple of times and rolled out of bounds. I remember I was in so much pain, but I hopped right up and kept playing because there was no way I was going to be hurt in front of those coaches. Her most influential person in her life is her father. He taught her to be strong no matter what, was thrown my way and always believe in myself, but was one of the most important lessons of them all was how to read IKEA directions. She would like to thank her mother, brother Nico and Adriana who would care for me unconditionally even if it was keeping up at 12 a.m. crying about a boy. I'd also like to thank my friends in Maryland who pushed me to be the best version of myself academically and personally. She would like to bequeath to the underclassmen high school flies by in an instant. Don't waste your precious time dwelling on the insignificant things and instead begin to cherish your blessings. Her plans after graduations are she plans to stay within the state to go to college and major in business. After college, she would like to go to culinary school and hopefully study abroad in Japan. Number 24, Kalea Umali. Our final senior is number 29, forward Ashley Venezia. Ashley is escorted by Tammy and Richie Venezia. Her athletic accomplishments are being a four-year letterman for varsity. Academic accomplishments are being honor roll while playing soccer for two teams. The most memorable soccer moment or experience, freshman year during a varsity game against Hampton, I scored with 12 seconds left in double overtime to make the score 2-1. The dog pile on top of me hurt but was my favorite part. The most influential person in her life is her mom. I look up to her in many ways. She has always been a huge support and has taught me how to stay positive in difficult circumstances. She sets goals for herself and always has inspired me to do the same. A very close second would be my dad. He is always pushing me to be the best version of myself on and off the field. He has taught me how to work hard for things but also to have fun at the same time. 
She would like to thank her parents, grandparents, siblings, friends, and coaches. I wouldn't be where I am today without any of them. She would like to bequeath the underclassmen the number 29 to Jocelyn Zillwagger. Her plans after graduation are to play soccer in college and get a degree in criminology. Senior number 29, Ashley Venezia. Let's have one more round of applause for all of our 2021 Shaler Area Senior Soccer Players. My name is JC Riser alongside Emily Miller and we are here for the Shaler Area Girls 2020 soccer team at Titan Stadium on Mount Royal. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting our seniors tonight and now we will send it over for the starting lineup. Soccer fans and welcome to Titan Stadium. <laughs> And now for the starting lineup, first for the North Allegheny Tigers. Number one, Juliana Warner. Number 17, Sarah Kapansky. Number 13, Olivia Mark. Number eight, Malafi Sayamala. Number 22, Brianne Portia. Number three, Anna Bundy. Number six, Stephanie Smith. Number 25, Tina Shanna. Number 20, Alexa Spano. Number nine, Lucia Wells. And number four, Sophia Palermo. Now the starting lineup for your Shaler Area Titans. Number 24, 12th grade goalkeeper, Alia Yumali. Number three, a 10th grade forward, Haley Pastoric. Number six, an 11th grade forward, Taylor Pierce. Number seven, a 12th grade defender, Audrey Fisher. Number nine, a ninth grade forward, Alexis Tylenda. Number 16, a 12th grade midfielder, Alyssa Delianovas. Number 22, a 12th grade defender, Emily Mori. Number 25, a ninth grade defender, Piper Keen. Number 27, a 12th grade defender, Selena Slavic. Number 29, a 12th grade forward, Ashley Venezia. Number 31, a 10th grade defender, Aubrey Sterling. Now, to see your eyes and remove your cap and play the national anthem. All right, so we are into our game. So tonight, the record for Shaler has not started off too strong. We did start off with two losses and two wins um, and then another loss. So, um... The Titans are back after a win on Saturday against West Mifflin, 6-1. For being their senior night, I'm really hoping that they come out with a win tonight. Uh, they have to work hard. They did play North Allegheny already and did lose to them, but hopefully they do get a win tonight. North Allegheny does have the kickoff starting. They kick it back to number 17 and up to the corner of the field, which goes to Emily Morey, but does go back to White in the middle where they take it down the middle. But the goalie has it. Umali kicks it out to Captain Ashley, who kicks it out to number 25, and it's right to a white player, so they kick it, but it does go out. It is Blue's throw-in. 
Audrey Fisher throwing it in. And she apparently lifted her foot, so it will be White's throw it now. White throws it down into the middle, who passes it out. Blue does get a touch, but it does end up back in White. White is moving the ball around to the other side of the field. Number 25 passes it back to their defense, who kicks it up to the corner, where number 9 White tries to save it, but it does go out. And it will be blue throw in. And that is Taylor Pierce. Go, Taylor! Taylor Pierce throws it down, tries to get it to the blue, but goes right back out. She has the throw in, throws it in, back in. White interferes. Number 17 has the ball in the middle of the field. Emily Morey kicking pressuring that defense a lot. And White tries to take a kick, but it is out. It will be a blue kick, and Taylor Pierce will be taking it. <laughs> Pierce kicks the ball out into the right side, left side of the field, who gets it up. And White gains control over it. White has a breakaway, but Maury from Shaler does kick it out of there. It will be White's throw in. White throws it to the corner. They're looking to do a corner pass here. Kicks it into the middle, but it does go out, so it will be a goal kick. Taylor Pierce again with the goal kick. She kicks it out into the middle, but White does interfere and get it in passes it to number 17 who passes it up into the middle to their captain. She takes a shot, but Pierce is able to block that and kick it out. Blue gains control and Ashley Venezia has the ball now. She kicks it up to the corner. Lexi Tylinda runs to the ball. White gains it and kicks it back to their goalie who kicks it up into the middle where Alyssa Deliana Bus gets the ball. Blue has the ball, tries to kick it back to Pierce, but Maury ends up getting it. She kicks it down the middle. White's defense gets the ball, but Blue does recover. Pierce has it, kicks it into the middle, but no Blue is there. Ashley Venezia does get the ball. Daily Anubis kicks it back to Maury. Maury kicks it out to the outside, but it does go out, so it will be White's throw in. White throws it in, and it kicks back to Ty Linda. The ball is now in the corner where Ty Linda is trying to get that, but the North Allegheny defense is strong, kicks it up to number four, and up. Venezia does intercept it, tries to take a shot, but White does interfere, and then Pierce tries to take a shot from the 15 and does miss. So it will be a White goal kick. White kicks the ball out where it goes to Daly Onibus, who does uh, interfere it, but White kicks it out. It will be a blue throw in. And Pierce will be taking that throw in on the right side of the field. Pierce passes into number 25 and passes it up to the corner for Haley to get. Haley to store. Will it be a blue throw in? Again, it will be Taylor Pierce who throws it into the middle. Pierce has the ball, tries to kick it, and it will be another blue throw.
Pierce has the ball to throw in, looking for that corner, but goes middle into Venezia. Venezia trying to get it in, but White does recover. De Leonidas tries to take a shot, but it does go all the way left to the field, and Goalie does receive the ball. Goalie rolls it out to lower defense, where Haley does try to pressure, but White kicks it up to the right side of the field, who kicks it down into the middle. Number 22, White kicks it to the corner. Shaler defense pu pushing down and kicking it out. White quickly throws it in where they do miss, and Blue gets it. Delionibus tries to get the ball, but it does go past her, so White 9 has it now. She passes it into the middle. Out to number 22, who ta tries to take a shot, but Maury makes a beautiful defensive play. Will be a corner kick now, so this is an opportunity for NA to get a goal. NA kicks the ball into the middle where their defense does kick it out. White has the ball, who tries to kick it down, but Blue recovers. White saves it from going out, passes it back to their defense, number 20, who kicks it back to their goalie. The goalie kicks it over, but Blue does interfere. Blue tries to gain possession, but White does get it. Venezia pressuring. But White runs down to the middle and passes it to 22 and kicks it back out to the corner. Audrey Fisher. Audrey Fisher does kick the ball to defend their goal. And it will be a Shaler throw in. Fisher throws it in. To Piper Keen. But does go out. It will be a White throw in. White looks for the corner to pass it back, but Fisher does headbutt it out. It does end up into 17s, White. And he she kicks it down to the side, trying to look for that corner pass, passes it to number 22, up to number 4, who takes a shot and is a little too high. So now it will be a goal kick for Kaylee Umala, Sr., Pierce kicks the ball to a lower defense. He kicks it up to Venezia, but it does go past her, so White has control, but then goes to Slavic, so she has the ball now. Kicks it up to the middle to Ty Linda. White gains possession, but there is a foul on Blue. It will be White's kick. White kicks the ball, beautiful kick down the field, but our goalie Umala does get the ball. And she kicks it out to the right side of the field. White tries to gain possession, and the ball is passed to number six, White where Tylinda does apply pressure, which causes them to pass back to their defense. N.A. has the ball on the left side of the field, kicks it down. Blue interferes it, Fisher, but White does possess the ball again. White in the corner of the field, looking for that corner pass, passes it into the corner, but Mori is there to get it out. It will be another corner kick for N.A. I would say that Shaler's defense is doing pretty well tonight, don't you agree? Yes, Emily? they're coming out very strong. Hopefully they can keep this tough de defense up the rest of the game. Now N.A. 
as the corner kick kicks it into the middle where Mori does get in there and apply more pressure. White does shoot it, but the goalie Umala does save it. A beautiful save by the goalie, who happens to be your senior night. She kicks it out to Venezia, who does miss the ball, and White has it now. Fisher applies a lot of pressure, which causes them to kick the ball out, and it is a throw-in for Blue. There are some Jocelyn Schwartz goes in for Kalea Mala. Blue throws it in, but Blue, uh, White does intercept it, kicks it down to the middle. Maury hustling to that ball. Schwartz picks it up. The ball is punted out into the middle where White tries to get it, but Tylen is there to block it off. It is at White's defense who kicks it out to the right side of the field. The ball is being kicked up into the air, ends up in Venezia's feet, who kicks it over to Dalianibus. Looking for the corner pass to pass it up. Tries to hit the corner, but nobody is there for her, so it will be a white throw in. White throws it in, which goes to a blue. Tylen kicks it out, so it will be another white throw in. White throws it back to their defense. Tylen running up. Kicks it over to the middle of their defense. Venezia also trying to get that ball. Passes over to the left side of the field. White taking it down to the side of the field, tries to hit it to the corner. White tries to save it from going out, but it will be a blue throw. Blue throws it into Venezia, who passes it back to Fisher. Fisher passes it up. Venezia now has the ball, who's trying to take it to the corner to Tylinda. It does hit off White, so it will be a blue throw and Fisher will be taking the throw. Ryan Dorlane has the ball right now, tries to get up, but it is kicked out, and White has the throw in, quickly throws it into their middle while Blue is still up, but Maury does recover the ball, passes it out to the outside, Pierce tries to kick it up, White does run through the ball and gain control, passes it back to their defense where Thailand uh, Pressures the ball, but White does end up receiving possession. Try to kick it to the corner, but Fisher interferes. Pass it up to Venezia, who's looking for a pass in the middle, but does not get it. There is a foul because White did hold on to her, so it will be a kick for Blue. Emily Mori taking the kick. She kicks it up to Venezia, who passes it over to Daly Onibus, but White interferes. But Tylinda does gain control, looking for that inside pass. Makes some moves over, kicks it up to Pierce. Pierce has control on the ball. Passes it out to 11. Aubrey and tries, Daly Onibus kicks it out. White has the throw in, makes a quick throw in. Mori gains control, kicks it up. Dalyanibus will be taking the kick for the penalty. Dalyanibus takes the kick. It does go to a white, but. Pierce is there to gain control, tries to save it, but it is out, so it will be a goal kick for White. White kicks it out into the right side of the field, where it does hit off of blue, so it will be a White throw in. North Allegheny, 25, throws it in, but it does go over their head. Tylen tries to get it, but White recovers and kicks it to the left side of the field, who kicks it down the middle for a break for White. 
White tries to take that outside shot. White recovers it before it goes out. And Blue kicks it out. Morey with the save. Another throw in by White, 25. Throws it in, Moore hits it out, and it will be a corner kick. White kicks it into the middle where it possibly could go in, but White misses the head punt in. And it will be another corner kick. Number 17 on White will be taking this same kick again. It didn't seem like it went off of a player on Shaler, but I guess it did. White kicks it into a player in the middle who kicks it and tries to take a shot. They head better it and it is a goal for NA. The time on the clock is 23.10 and that leaves Titan 0, guests 1. Still 23 minutes on the clock along with a whole nother half, so we still got a little bit for Shaler to get another goal in here. Yes, hopefully they keep up the good defense, although that goal just went in, they've kept NA from scoring for the past 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yes, I agree. White, blue did kick it out, but it ended up being a white throw in. It will be 25 from NA throwing it in. They throw it back where Tylen does pressure and interferes it, but it is a throw in for White once again. 25 kicks it or throws it in, but Pierce kicks it into the middle. Dalyanovus now has control, kicks it to Dor Ryan Dorlane, who kicks it over to Dalyanovus. Dalyanovus kicks it to Venezia. White defense is putting a lot of pressure on them right now. Tylinda now has the ball out inside the left side corner. Kicks it back to Fisher. It's a little too far, but she does make the save. Dalyanibus has it. Kicks it to the middle to Dorlane. And it does go out, so it will be a Shaler throw in. Audrey Fisher throwing it in. Selena Slavic and Haley Kosorek sub in for the Titans. The ball is thrown in to number 13, Dorlane. Blue is hustling to try to get a goal here. White does end up possessing it into the middle, but there is a lot of pressure applied. They kick it out down to number 17. Kicks it out to the corner. Maury hustling to get there. And there is a penalty called on Mori, even though that was very good defense. But it will be a kick for North Allegheny. North Allegheny kicks it out over to the middle where Shaler does kick it out. White makes a recovery on it, but Pierce kicks it out. There are no blue pressured up, so it does go to White's defense. White kicks it to the corner. It's looking for another corner pass down does miss it so Schwartz, Schwartz will have the ball. Schwartz looking for someone to punt to. She kicks it out to the middle, out to Pierce. Or Dorlane. Pierce kicks it up to Haley Kostoric. And she White does kick it out, so it will be a blue throw in. Pierce will take the throw in. She throws it in to Ty Linda, who kicks it into the middle for at Selena, but she does lose the ball and White gains possession.
Pierce applying a lot of pressure and does end up making her lose the ball. Dorlane then has the ball, tries to kick it out, but White does gain possession. Kicks it out to the right side of the field. Looking for that corner kick. Maury does get a touch on it and makes it go to a Shaler player who kicks it up. To, to tie Tyler. Now. But she does kick it out, so it will be a white throw in. NA throws it down to number 27, who tries to hit the corner, but nobody's there, so Moore kicks it up. It does go off of door lane, off to a white player, number 17, who kicks it to the corner. And Swartz makes a save before their offensive can score. Swartz punts it out to the middle of the field. White gets a touch on it and does gain possession. Kicks it over to their defense. Kicks it down to the middle where Mori is. Kicks it out to the outside. Haley Kostorik is fighting for the ball. Kostorik kicks it up to the corner to Tylinda. She's taking it to the corner trying to find that crossover. Passes it over to Dorlane. She passes it into the middle, but White interferes. Slavic now has the ball. She passes it out to the corner to a White player. Again, Slavic has the ball, trying to find that open pass, but does lose it. Number nine, White now has it and kicks it down to the corner, where there is a breakaway for White. Fisher running straight down the ball, trying to intercept. White takes the ball, shoots, and scores. A goal for the Tigers, number 17. There's 18 minutes and 6 seconds left on the clock. Titan 0, NA 2. You know, with that much time left on the clock and a whole other half, again, we still have lots of time to catch up. Again, their defense is doing amazing out there. They're hustling, especially senior Maury. She's doing awesome out there, making passes. Uh, making defensive plays. It's just the offense is not getting those breakaways, unlike NA, who is. Yes, I agree. Blue had kickoff, but White does gain possession. White has it on the left side of the field, who kicks it up to the middle and out into number four, kicks it to number 37. Blue does make a recovery and Venezia has the ball. Slavic passes it up to the corner where Tylinda tries to break up there, but White does interfere and kicks it out. White saves it from going out though, so they do pass it into the middle. We're number 11. Hannah Warren takes the ball. Blue kicks it out where it will be a white throw in. White throws it in over into the middle where no one was. Slavic butts it in, but it does end up to a white player. Pierce kicks it into the middle where number 17 white gains control, kicks it to the corner. Number nine, N.A. has the ball, kicks it off to the left. Maury applying pressure, playing great defense on her, not letting her get in. White takes a shot, shoots, but it is out. And before it goes out, Schwartz does not touch it, so it will be a Shaler kick. Pierce will be taking the kick. Pierce kicks it up over to Historic, and it goes out of bounds. White number 25 will take the ball to throw in. Throws it into number 17, who nobody's marked up on. Passes it back to their defense to number 20. Passes it over to the middle, changing sides of the field. Back over to number 20. And up to the middle where number nine is, where she has a slight breakaway, a little advantage here. 
Nine fights through three Shaler defenders and then kicks it off where they try to pass it over to number 17, White, but misses, so it will be a goal kick for Shaler. Again, junior Taylor Pierce will be taking the kick. Pierce kicks the ball over to the right side of the field. Hannah Warren. Hannah Warren kicks it up to Lexi Tylinda. Where White ends up gaining possession. Number four kicks it out to the outside, but Fisher does intercept the pass. Kicks it into the middle to number 13, Dorlane, who tries to pass it up to Venegia, but does kick it to a White player. White gains control, tries to kick it over to 17, but Pierce gets the ball who kicks it up to number 25 white and now number 17 from NA has the ball she's taking it into the middle out to the outside to number nine where she could have a cross here but blue does recover and get it out of there white number eight has the ball kicks it down to the right side of the field and Swartz has the ball she will punt it out Swartz kicks the ball into the middle of the field where Ty Linda gains control. Trying to look for a pass back, she passes it over to Dorlane, who passes it up, trying to get to Haley, but it does not get there, and White gains control. Number 17 has the ball from NA. She's taking it in the middle, trying to find an open player. She gets it over, where White does have a slight breakaway here, and kicks it in. It is a goal for N.A. There's 13 minutes and 36 seconds left on the clock. Titan still zero in N.A. three. Alyssa Daly on a bus, Piper Keen, and number four, Maria, Maria Buckshaw gets on the field. It'll be Blue's kickoff again. Tylinda kicks it back to Dorlane. Dorlane to the outside corner to Venezia. Venezia has the ball. Trying to find an open spot to pass back. She passes back to De Leonibus who kicks it up to Tylinda. Fisher takes a shot, but it is too far right, so it will be White's kick. White kicks it out to their defense on the left side of the field. Kicks it back to the goalie, who kicks it up the field. Pierce does pressure the ball and gain possession, who passes it out to Haley. Tries to pass it up to the corner, but White does get the ball. White 17 has the ball, working its way down the right side of the field, passes it down to the middle where they do have a slight breakaway again, but Fisher is there to block them out and gets it out of there. It will be a white throw in. White throws it in over to the corner who passes it back to number five. Passes it up to the corner, crosses it over where Slavic is, and it goes to Venezia. Passes it back to Fisher. White does get it into the middle, but Buckshaw is there to kick it out, so it will be a corner kick. White kicks it into the middle, where they try to get a goal out of this. Kicks it back out to number 17. Takes a shot, and Schwartz saves it. It will be another corner kick. That was a beautiful save by Jocelyn Schwartz, who's a junior.
call is kicked in, but it does go over the goal, so it will be Blue's goal kick now. Pierce is taking the kick. She kicks it out to Daily Onibus. It does go over their heads. Tylinda fighting for that ball, but White gains possession. Number eight on NA kicks it down to the corner, tries to kick it to the middle to number 17. She's making her way down the middle of the field, trying to find that open player, making her way to the right side of the field. Daily Onibus playing good defense, makes her pass it back, who passes it off to the corner. Schwartz comes up and picks up the ball. She kicks it out to the middle of the field where no blue are, but Maury comes through and picks it up. No one there to help her out, so 17 has possession, takes a shot, Schwartz makes a save, and now has possession. Schwartz kicks the ball out to the left side of the field where Fisher has it but loses control and White gains possession. White pushes Fisher and there is a penalty on White so it will be Blue's Shaler's kick. Maury will be taking the kick. Maury kicks it over to Venezia, who tries to kick it back, but it goes right to White. There is another call on White, so it will be another blue Shaler kick. Maury kicks it. Down to the middle to Daily Onibus. Keeps the ball and passes it over to Door Lane. But it is another penalty, so it will be Blue's kick once again. Maury will be taking it. Maury kicks it into the middle of the field. Tylinda gets a touch off of it, where Haley kicks it back to Pierce, who tries to hit it into the middle. Daily Onibus recovers the ball, kicks it out to Haley, who kicks it into the middle. A beautiful cross, but Venezia is not there for the pass. It will be a throw in for Blue. That was a beautiful pass by Haley Kastor's Kastoric, a sophomore for the Titans. There are 7 minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Still plenty of time for Blue to get a goal. Blue throws it in, but White gains possession and is taking it down the field. Pierce takes it, though, and pushes it up to Door Lane, who gets it to Daly Onibus, who gets it into the middle of the field, but nobody was there. It is another penalty on White, and it will be Blue's kick. Pierce is taking the kick, kicks it up the field, but nobody is there for her. White gains possession and passes it to the corner, but Fisher's there to kick it up. White has possession, but Dorlane interferes, passes it back to Daly Onibus, who passes it back to Pierce. Pierce passes it into the middle to door lane, who tries to get out to the corner, but it does fall short and White gains control. Pierce is there to save it, and Daily Onibus kicks it up to Pierce. Pierce kicks it up to Haley, who's trying to take it to the corner. Tylinda has the ball, 
Kicks it to the corner, but White interferes. Tylinda again has the ball. She's trying to go for that shot, but White gains control and kicks it out. White now has the ball, but Blue steps up and takes it. Pierce has it, looking for a pass up, passes it right to the NA player. Number 22 now has it and is looking for that corner pass down. Dorlane fights for the ball and gains control up to Tylinda, but Tylin mistouches and number eight on White gets it and passes it up to the corner. And now White has possession. NA passes it back to their defense up into the corner. Aubrey Skirlin gets it out of there. White has a breakaway here, number 11, who kicks it over, but Blue does kick it out. Fisher gets it out of there. It will be a NA throw in. Two subs come in for the Tigers. NA number 18 throws it overhead to the corner where no Shaler is located. Cor kicks it over to the middle where White has a shot, kicks it, scores, and that is number nine for Tigers. There's four minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. Titans now have four, sorry, NA now has four goals and Titans have zero. Alexis Tylinda kicks it back to Dorlane, who kicks it up to the corner. White gains possession, kicks it up to the middle to number five, who kicks it out to the corner to number 14. It's a little too hard, so Fisher will be throwing it in. Fisher looking for that open player, passes it to number 11, Shaler. Fisher passes it up where no blue is. And White gains possession, He's kicking it back and forth between the defense. Number 34, White now has it, taking it down the middle, passes it up to the corner where they save the ball from going out. Number 34, White has it, crosses it over into the middle. Daily Onibus interferes and kicks it out of there. Where Hannon Warren is and Ty Linda. NA throws it back to their defense and over to number 20. Switching sides of the field. White has it on the right side of the field. Kicks it into the middle to number 22 on White, who gets it out to number three and kicks it out to the corner to number nine, who has a breakaway. Crosses it over to the middle, tries to take a shot, but Schwartz saves the ball. Schwartz punts it out into the middle where Dorlane is, who gets it up to Tylinda over to Warren. Warren looking for that corner up where tries to get it up to Tylinda, but it goes a little too hard. So goalie gets it, rolls it out to the right side of the field, sorry, left side of the field, and kicks it out. So it will be a Shaler throw in. There's a substitution. Ashley Venezia goes in for Lexi Tylinda. Fisher throws it into Dorlane, but does lose it to White, number three, takes it in, and it is a offsides call for White, number five. It will be a kick. Pierce is taking the kick. So 
Kicks it into the middle of the field where White gains possession. Kicks it up to the corner. Kicks it down to the middle to number five. And Schwartz does make a save. She runs to it. Schwartz kicks it out into the middle, but there is no blue there. So White does gain possession. Blue now has the ball. Warren, who's gained possession, passes it back to Dorlane, back to Fisher, up back to Warren. A little triangle pass there. Tries to pass it up to Venezia, but White does kick it out, so it will be a Shaler throw in. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. Shaler throws it in. Venezia tries to get it. But White gains possession, passes it over into the middle, who looks to kick it up over to number three on NA. Kicks it up to number five, who has a breakaway. Schwartz tries to come up and get it, but she shoots and she scores. With four seconds left on the clock. Titan zero, NA five. Not much that can happen in four seconds, but we do have another 40 minutes for Shaler to catch back up and possibly win this game on their senior night. Shaler takes it up to the corner, and that is the end of the half. At the end of the first half, Titans are at zero, and North Allegheny is at five. That last Welcome back to the Shaler vs. North Allegheny game. The first half was not the best we've seen of Shaler, but we're hoping that the second half, Shaler can get some goals out there. We left off with Titan 0 and North Allegheny 5. We have 40 minutes for them to get some goals here. Their defense has been playing amazing. We're just hoping that the offense does get some goals and opportunities here. The last time the Titans played the Tigers, they lost 5 nothing. so hopefully they can hold them here at 5 and get some goals of their own. Shaler kicks it off, up, tries to get to Venezia, but it does go out. N.A. has the throw in. N.A. 13 throws it in over to number 5 who kicks it up to the middle of the field. Maury has the ball now, tries to kick it up, but it goes to a NA player who has a breakaway. Tries to take a shot, but Maury's there. Maury blocks it out, and it does go out. It will be a throw-in. A beautiful defensive play by Maury. Shaler needs to wake up here, because it's only been not even a minute yet, and we're hoping that they don't get a goal. Slavic kicks it out to the side of the field. White has the throw in, kicks it in, trying to get it over into the middle. Blue tries to kick it out. White takes a shot, and it's a goal. Makes the score. Zero Shaler and NA6 with only 38 minutes and 57 seconds on the clock. So they scored that within a minute and a half. Shaler has the kickoff and kicks it up to the corner. White gains possession and has it on the right side of the field. Maury kicks it out up to Emily. White has the ball, kicks it over to the middle, 
Venezia pressures it and has the ball now. Kicks it over to Dalianibus. Who kicks it to the corner where nobody is at. And White defense now has it. Kicks it over into the middle of the field. Who kicks it back to number four. Mori gets a touch on the ball. Tries to kick it out. But White gains possession. Kicks it off of Mori and it will be a NA throw in. N.A. throws it in to the middle where number 17 has it. Kicks it over to the corner to number 5 who tries to get a shot off but misses. And it is a Titans kick. Taylor Pierce will be taking the goal kick. Pierce kicks it up into the middle where White gets a touch on. And it is a handball on number five, so it will be Shaler's kick. Titan Emily Mori will be taking the kick. Mori kicks it up into the middle of the field where White gets a touch on it, but it does go to Daly Onibus, who's looking for someone to pass to. She passes it up to Venezia, but it is intercepted by a NA player. Fisher is going to throw it in for the Titans, throws it over to Slavic, who kicks it to the corner to Venezia, but again, White interferes. It is another throw in for Fisher. Fisher tries to throw it into the corner, but Venezia was not there, so White gets it and kicks it into the middle. N.A. has the ball, tries to kick it into the middle. Mori gains possession and kicks it out for a throw-in. White quickly throws it in to the corner, passes it over to 17, who fakes out our defense, comes in, tries to take a shot, tries to pass it over, but nobody's there to take the shot. Venezia tries to get it out, but N.A. tries to kick it in. Schwartz protects it out, and it will be a goal kick for the Titans. Pierce kicks it out to the defense. Aubrey Sherlong, who kicks it out to Fisher. Fisher kicks it into the middle to Slavic, who tries to kick it out to Venezia. Loses the ball to White. Number five tries to kick it out, but Fisher does apply pressure and gets it out of there. It will be a corner kick for N.A. Hopefully not a goal for N.A. here. N.A. kicks it for a corner kick. It is a super high kick and does go out, so it will be a goal kick for Shaler. Number six, Pierce kicks it out to the middle of the field where White gains possession over it, but Dorlane does try to get that ball. Fisher applies pressure up, gains possession, passes it down for a breakaway for Tylinda, but White does gain possession and kicks it out. Dalyanibus recovers it, trying to find that open pass, kicks it back to Fisher. Fisher kicks it in the middle for Moore, who does lose the ball, and White tries to gain that possession and does. White kicks it down the middle. Moore is hustling to get there, shields it off, and Schwartz gets the ball. Schwartz switching sides of the field, punts it out into the middle. And it is a call. White was pushing on Daily Onibus, so it will be a Shaler kick. Moore is taking the kick. Captain for the Titans kicks the ball into the middle, where no blue is located, and White gains possession, passing it around the field. Slavic applies pressure, makes her fumble the ball, but White makes a recovery. Venezia intercepts the pass, kicks it up to Tylinda, 
who loses it to the white defense. Number five now has the ball, but again, Venezia does get a touch on it. Not enough for her to gain possession, though. So White does have the ball, passes it to number three, up to number four. Sherlong does intercept it and tries to pass it up, but White gains possession once again. Pierce has the ball, kicks it out, makes amazing defensive play to catch up and get the ball. And a tries to take a shot, but it is too far left, so it will be another goal kick for the Titans. Looks like North Allegheny is getting a lot of shots with 32 minutes on the clock. I think Shaler Titans do need to come out a little bit stronger and have a little bit more hustle out there on offense. Yes, their, de their defense is working, but the offense is what they need to get some points on the board. Blue has possession and passes it up to Slavic, who does not get it, but uh, Tylinda does make the recovery, passes it off, and White intercepts. N.A. has the ball, takes it into the middle, number 17. Tries to take a shot, and does. A beautiful shot from the 15. That now makes the score 7 to nothing. The Tigers up with 32 minutes left on the clock. Shaler has the kickoff and passes it back. Tylinda tries to get the ball but loses it. White has possession. White 17 passes it out to number four. Looks for the outside pass. And he's looking for that cross, but Slavic is there to block it. Takes a shot and it is way over. So it will be another goal kick. Taylor Pierce is taking the goal kick. Pierce kicks it out to Dorlane, who tries to get it out to the outside, but White does lose it, comes back to Pierce. Pierce switches to the side of the field, trying to pass it up to Daily Onibus, but White does interfere. Daily Onibus does make a recovery, intercepting and getting touches on the ball, and White does trip. So it will be a blue kick. Moore is taking the kick. She kicks it out to the outside to Fisher. Fisher tries to kick it up. White pressure. So it will be now a throw in. Fisher kicks it into Daily Onibus where she gets double teamed and pushed around, so it will be a blue kick. Maury has the ball, kicks it up the field to Tylinda. And because she put her leg up too high, it is a penalty, so it will be White's kick. They're taking advantage of how blue is pressured up, so they kick the ball quickly out. Slavic tries to get a touch on it. Now Skirline has it, tries to kick it up, kicks it to a white player. NA now has the ball, tries to kick it down into the middle where 17 has a breakaway, shoots, and hits the crossbar. And she still gets that shot and scores. Titans are zero, and NA is eight with 29 minutes on the clock. Being that number 17 just had her third goal, hopefully the Titans play much more defense on her. Blue has the kickoff and kicks it off to the side. And White kicks it out, so it will be Titans throw in. Pierce is taking the throw in, who throws it up, and White interferes, but Dorlane has the ball. It goes to the middle, but nobody is there. 
So White gains possession. White number four now has the ball, taking it to the right side of the field, passes it up and into the front where number 17 has a breakaway. Schwartz makes a beautiful save. Schwartz is really working hard out there with the amount of shots she has had on her tonight. She punts it out into the middle where Pierce tries to get it up. Sorry. Kastorik. Kastorik has tried to get it up, but there is a penalty called, so Mori will be taking the kick. Mori kicks the ball up to the right side of the field. White interferes and kicks it out, so it will be a Titan throw in. She throws it in to Dorlane, who kicks it into the middle. Venegia had the opportunity to get that, but was not in front of White. Therefore, White made the save out of there, but it will be a Titan throw in. Titan throws it to Dalianibus, who kicks it into the middle, and White gains possession. N.A. has it in the middle of the field, number three, who passes it up. Mori tries to make a pass down, but does not. And there is a penalty called, so it will be Titans' kick. Mori kicks the ball to the right-sided corner, but it does go to a white player. Venegia pressures up to the ball, but does not get it, and makes a foul on NA, so it will be an NA kick. Kicks it out into the middle of the field, number three. Off to number four and tries to pass it down, but. Haley Kastorik with the steal. Yes. Kastorik tries to pass it into the middle, but loses it, and White gains possession. White misses a kick down, and Blue kicks the ball. Tylinda pressuring. Very hard on their defense, but does lose it. White has a breakaway here. Maury hustling down to try to get the ball. She takes a shot, and again, way too high up. With 26 minutes left on the clock, it will be a goal kick. And NA just made a very big substitution. Looks like all of their players came off the field. Blue has the goal kick into the middle. White gains possession and kicks it up to the middle. Who kicks it out? Tylinda makes the recovery. Kicks it up the field, trying to find that open pass. Playing with the ball a little too much and not getting a pass off. They always do say don't hold on to it for more than three seconds. It's Titans throw in. Throw it into the middle to Tylinda. Tylinda passes it off. And she takes a shot. Is a beautiful shot and a beautiful save where Tavanesia makes sure that nobody saves it out. So it is a corner kick now. I think this is the first corner kick for the Shaler Titans tonight. Hannah Warren. Hannah Warren is taking the sh corner kick. She kicks it into the middle. A beautiful kick where White gets it out. Blue and White hustling to get it in there. Daily Onibus puts it back into the middle where it is an offsides call for Blue. So it will be a NA kick. There is 23 minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Maybe with this change of NA's lineup, Titans can maybe put a goal on the board. Skirline has the ball and kicks it up to Daily Onibus. Warren now has the ball and kicks it back to Fisher. Fisher kicks it into the middle. 
where nobody went to it. No communication on Titans' end, so White gains possession. Warren now has the ball and tries to kick it up to Dorlane. Dorlane. But White makes the recovery. Skirlong gets the ball and kicks it out, so it will now be a North Allegheny throw in. And he throws it into the middle where Fisher tries to gain control. Morn kicks the ball out, which results in a NA throw in once again. Number 18 for NA throws it in. Maury now has the ball, tries to kick it up, goes to Fisher. Fisher gets it up to the corner, tries to get it up to the corner, but White interferes. Warren makes a beautiful stop, but it does result in a throw in for White. NA throws it in, Daily Onibus gets a touch on it, Venegia passes it back to Daily Onibus. Warren tries to get it up, but it does go to N.A. in the middle, who passes it back to their defense and off to the corner. They, White kicks it into the middle, where Blue does make a recovery, but White gains possession once again. Audrey Fisher does get it out of there, but it will be a N.A. throw in. N.A. throws it into the middle. Blue's trying to get it out of there. Takes a shot and scores. With 21 minutes and 26 seconds left on the clock. Titan zero, NA nine. North Allegheny goal by It is now Blue's kick, who kicks it off to the back defense, kicks it up to Warren. Dorlane tries to get the recovery, but misses, but Tylan does get the ball, kicks it up to Venegia, who misses it. A little too behind her, so it will be an ace throw in. And he throws it down onto the line where Daily Onibus has it. Venezia tries to get it in, kicks it off of the NA player, and it will be a blue throw in. Fisher is taking the throw in, throws it into the middle where Dorlane is. Moves it to Daily Onibus, who's trying to get it to the corner. Kicks off. Venezia now has the ball. White interferes. Dorlene gains possession, but then loses it to NA22, who kicks it up into the middle. And there is a foul, so NA will be taking the shot. NA kicks it up, Blue makes a touch on it, but White recovers. NA22 passes it back, who passes it to the corner. It's a little too far, so it will be a Titans throw in. There are some substitutions for Shaler. Slavic goes on for Daily Onibus. And Historic enters for number 15. Fisher throws it into Venezia, who passes it over. White interferes. Number 37 for NA has the ball, taking it to the right side of the field. But Pierce makes a recovery and kicks it out. NA throws it in, makes a pass back, but Blue does interfere. Warren now has the ball, passes it to Pierce. Pierce kicks it up into the cor corner for 
out of Ty bounds. Linda to try to get it, and it is kicked off white, and it goes out of bounds, so it will be a Titan throw in. Titans throw it in to Warren, who tries to make a move on white, but does lose it. It is kicked out, and it will be a NA throw in. And it quickly throws it in on the line. Pierce makes a touch on it, and it gets to the middle. White always seems to be in the spots where blue should be. Blue makes a beautiful pass up where we might have a breakaway here. And blue makes a goal. Their first goal tonight with 17 seconds and 52, sorry, 17 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. By sophomore Haley Castor. A beautiful shot. It's a good way to finally have Shaler up on the scoreboard. And it kicks off and has possession. They take it to the back of their defense, trying to switch sides of the field. White's taking it to the right side of the field, but Blue intercepts Fisher and passes it to Warren, who passes it back to Dorlane. She passes it up, but it does get intercepted by White. White defense passes it off to the far side of the field. Blue throws it in and passes it back to their defense, Mori, who passes it to the corner, but it does go out, so it will be a NA throw-in. NA throws it in down the side of the field, but Blue makes a stop. Passes it up, White makes a great connection and tries to get it up the field, but Blue intercepts. NA defense now has the ball and kicks it to number 11. Warren has the ball now, trying to look for that pass. Kylinda now has it and passes it to Dorlane. Dorlane tries to get it up, but number 14 from NA intercepts, hits it off of Maury, but Maury saves it and kicks it out. But White makes a recovery. Yeah, Haley. Haley steals the ball from North Allegheny and kicks it up the field. It's a little hard of a pass, so Ty Lindo was not able to get there. And A kicks it up into the middle of the field. Where Fisher pressures it and then Venezia. White passes it back to their defense and up to the corner. Try Skirline tries to intercept it, but 37 NA gets it. They have a breakaway here, but they are offside, so it will be a kick. It'll be Blue's kick. Pierce kicks it up into the offensive side of the field. Venezia tries to pressure the ball, but White does gain control. Aubrey kicks it up, but it does go out of the field. So it will be a NA throw in. N.A. throws it in. Fisher kicks it out into the middle to Dorlane, who loses it, but Maury recovers and kicks it up. Tylinda is pressuring the ball, trying to get it up into her possession, where they kick it out. But it will be a N.A. throw in. It must have hit off of Alexis. N.A. throws it in to number 32. 22, 
22 has possession on NA. 34 now has it. Passes it up to the far side of the field. Who kicks it back? Blue then gains possession to Lane. And there is a foul called. And a push door lane, so it will be a Shaler kick. Pierce is taking the kick. Pierce kicks a beautiful kick that could have been a shot, but White does save it. Passes it up, giving a 2v2 situation, but Fisher kicks it out to give them some time to catch back. NA number 18 is throwing it in. Throws it to the corner where Skurlong has the ball and kicks it out, but not hard enough. So number 11, NA has it, crosses it over, and there is a foul. It will be NA's kick. This is a little dangerous to have a kick right here on the field. This is possible that they will get a goal here, but hopefully Shaler comes out and does not let that happen with 12 minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. 22 kicks the ball, goes for the shot, but Maury is able to get it out, and it is a goal kick. Pierce is taking the goal kick. Pierce kicks the ball up into the middle of the field to Dora Lane, who tries to get a touch on it, but does go in between her feet. So White gains possession, takes it off into the far side of the field, tries to look for that corner and does pass it there. It's a little hard of a pass, so it does lose control, and Dorlane now has the ball, passes it off to Daly Onibus, who kicks it off to the left side of the right side of the field. But White does intercept and has the ball, but kicks it out, and there is a Shaler throw in. NA looks like they might be making some subs when they can. But for right now, Blue kicks it up, and NA kicks it out. Another Shaler throw. Dorlane has the ball, tries to kick it, and is tripped, so it will be a Shaler kick. Maury's taking the kick. Maury kicks the ball to the right side corner, but White intercepts. It's a 2v2 situation again. White has it and tries to get it, but Emily makes a beautiful stop. And it will be Shaler's throw in. Maury throws it up, tries to get it to Dora Lane, but NA reads the pass. Alyssa has the ball and kicks it up to the corner where Venezia can run onto it. But White does gain control. Venezia fights for the ball, passes it back to Dorlan, up to Daily Onibus, who tries to get it, and she kicks it out. It will be a NA throw in, and this is where NA is making some substitutions. Nine minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. And White has possession. Tylinda gains control and Venezia has the ball now, looking for the middle. Tries to pass it up to the corner, but nobody's there, so NA's defense has it. Passes it over to the middle, but they do make an interception. Takes it to the corner and takes a shot and misses by a little to the left good that this half we're definitely having some more shots than the first half still not a lot but enough where it's getting you know Shaler 
up and moving and motivated. Yes. White kicks it out, and it is a perfect opportunity to get a goal, which is what Alexis Tylinda did. As just a freshman, she's really proven herself that she's going to be a big impact for the Titans for the next three years. The score is now Titans 2 and NA 9 with 8 minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. White has the kickoff and kicks it off to number 23, who kicks it off to the corner. Number 26, Fisher makes a great defensive play. Skirlong is trying to get the ball, but White does gain possession. Corners over to the side where no Shaler players are located, kicks it into the middle to number 23, who looks for the shot and shoots and almost scores. It is a goal kick for Shaler. Pierce is taking the kick. Kicks it up to Dorlane, who loses the ball. 17 takes a shot and scores. That now makes the score Titans 2, Tigers ten, 11 with seven minutes remaining on the clock. It is Shaler's kickoff, who kicks it off to the corner for Emily to get the ball. She passes it over into the corner where nobody was. One thing I've noticed about Shaler is that they're not in the right spots that they need to be, especially when it comes to crossing the kicks over. They're always behind the defensive players. They need to be in front of them in order to gain possession and get that goal. Hannah Warren subs in for Ryan Derlane. Tylinda has the ball and is fighting for it to get a goal here. White kicks it out and it will be a throw in. White gains possession and has it on the far side of the field. Switching the sides, almost hits the ref, um, and goes down to the right side of the field. Fisher hustles in and gets it and moves it into the middle, but White does interfere. Warren hustling to get that ball as well, and Sherlong kicks it out. There's some kind of Penalty called. <laughs> and it looks like it is on Shaler, so it will be White's kick. Blue with the impressive defense tries to get it out of there. Fisher makes the recovery. Save, tries to save the ball and kicks it out, so it will be a NA throw in. They move quick when they have throw ins, and Skurlong kicks it out. It, but it touched off of white, so it will be a Shaler throw-in, and then Shaler kicks it out once again, so it will be a NA throw-in. NA throws it in and tries to take a shot, I believe. White is playing around with the ball, and blue interferes, so they do kick it up. NA kicks it to the corner of the field, but it is an offside, so Shaler will have the kick. Maury, captain of the Shaler area girls soccer team, will be taking the kick. Maury kicks the ball into the middle, where White kicks it out, and it will be a Shaler throw in. Fisher throws it in for the Titans. She throws it in to Warren, who passes it back to Skurlong, and passes it in over to the corner, 
where Durlane tries to get possession, gets a touch, but White does take control. NA kicks it out, so it will be a Shaler throw in. Just kidding, it is a NA throw in. There's only three minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. Number 18 throws it in for NA. And NA, or sorry, Shaler does kick it out, so it will be another NA throw in. NA tries to throw it into the middle where Tylinda is there to get a touch on the ball, but NA does gain possession. Dorlane does get the touch and gets it tied. Linda Venegia now has the ball looking for that inside pass. Tries to get a lead on pass, but does not succeed. And White kicks it out, so it will be a Shaler throwing. Pierce throws it in to Dorlane. Dorlane touches it, but NA does gain possession. Mori taps it out. And it is now an NA throw in. NA throws it into the middle of the field, who passes it off to the corner, number 26. Tries to kick on for a lead on pass, but Schwartz comes up and saves the ball. Schwartz is switching the side of the field, kicks it up into the middle where there is no blue and White gains possession. White kicks it off into the middle. That looked like an offsides, but it was not, and luckily Blue did gain possession. Daily Onibus now has the ball. Makes some plays. He's kind of playing with it a little too much and loses it. Skirlong gets it back to her, though, where she kicks it up to Tylinda. Tylinda then loses it to N.A. But she gains possession again. She has a breakaway here. She shoots and she does not score. Their goalie did have a small touch on it. So it will be a corner kick now. There is a minute left on the clock. This would be a perfect opportunity to get maybe one more goal in for Shaler Area Titans. Warren is taking the kick. Warren kicks it into the middle, a beautiful kick. Deleonibus tries to head it in, but N.A. does kick it out. She tries to take a sh shot, but the goalie makes a beautiful save and gets it out with 25 seconds left on the clock. That was a very close call for Shaler, or for N.A. there. Shaler could have had a possible another goal there, but like I said, there are still 15 seconds left on the clock, so they possibly could get at least one more on the board. But unfortunately, N.A. does get the corner kick, and with four seconds left on the clock, Shaler, with an unfortunate loss tonight, has the score of Titans 2 and N.A. 11. Too bad for the Shaler area Titans. They did not get a win on their senior night tonight, but they do have some more opportunities coming up in order to get some wins for their season. I'm JC Riser with Emily Miller, signing off from SATV.